Hello beautiful earth angels, welcome to my channel or if you're watching this on Instagram to my Instagram page. Um, this is going to be, well, I think a series of messages for today. Um, a transmission as my team calls it. I feel like I'm about to jump out of my skin, which energetically this means that there is something that wants to jump out of me, something very important. And uh, by the way, if you are new to this, if you are new to me, uh, welcome, I hope you stay. I hope you enjoy what you are listening to. So I'm just going to turn down the music. Um, I hope you enjoy what you are hearing and that whatever you're hearing can ultimately help you to become the best that you can be. And um, if you like these kind of messages and you are listening to it on Instagram, you can listen to more of these messages on my YouTube channel, Joanna the Medium or Joanna the Healer. If you are coming back to this, uh, welcome. Thank you for coming back. I hope you continue to stay and I hope you continue enjoying these messages. Okay, let's get on with this because I do not have a lot of time to fit this in the video for Instagram. Um, today's question was posed to me and I kind of went, huh? The question is, is your mediocrity holding you back? I actually had to look up that word. I've heard this word before. It's not a word that I use. And I had difficulty pronouncing this. However, the message was clear. What is holding you back? And I looked at the word mediocre because I wanted to understand what it means as per dictionary. Uh, not that I don't trust my guidance, but they often will throw words at me for me to investigate. So I am more in a no. So mediocrity is the quality or state of being mediocre. So what is mediocre? Another word for mediocre is ordinary. And I thought, huh, if you're listening to this, chances are that you're ordinary is what's holding you back. Now, why would you choose to be ordinary? Why would you choose to, medio to be mediocre? Why, do you, why would you choose to experience mediocrity? Unless you believed you couldn't have more or you couldn't be more. And the reality is nothing could be further from the truth because there is more and you are more. You are more than you are currently trying to be. And your state of awareness determines your experience. Sometimes the experience we are experiencing is not congruent with what we do want to experience. And generally what we want to experience is more than what we are currently experiencing. So if you are listening to this and you would like to experience more than what you are currently experiencing, then you need to allow yourself to be more. This message is a little bit of a piggyback to the message I just posted on my YouTube channel. And the video is called, What's Holding Back Your Light? And this is one card that is in that transmission. I would encourage you to look at that video. There's a link uh, on my bio if you're looking at this on Instagram. But it talks about you being, not necessarily number one, but you being, well, someone who is wise, someone who is clearly more than what you think. Because what you think is, well, severely limited by what we believe and what we are conscious of and even what we are unconscious of, which we call the shadow self. So why would you want to be mediocre? 
Well, you wouldn't want to be, but if you are, if you are feeling that your life is ordinary, or if you're feeling lack of juice, verve in your life, verve, is that the right word? If you are feeling lack of contentment, if you are feeling lack of safety, if you are feeling lack of abundance on any level, then you are holding yourself back. And mediocre, you are not. You will never be a mediocre. And that's because you come from a space of greatness. Greatness meaning, some call it God. For some of you, this might be very difficult to hear. It was difficult for me, Joanna, to hear that because um, I felt for most of my life like I was not worthy. That I was not worthy being in the presence of what some call God. Someone not worthy of being loved unconditionally and certainly not someone that felt worthy being uh, well worthwhile stick to stick around with. That has been my shadow I had to work through. And that is what kept me being not even mediocre, but way beyond, way, way below that, somewhere in a basement. And the only reason why I'm referencing myself here is because I'm no different than you. You're no different than me. We all hold ourselves back on some level, to some extent, purely based on the fact that we are human beings and we are here to experience a limited version of ourselves. However, within that limitation of being a human being and obviously having limitations that go with that, there is a vast room of possibilities that is not in line with being mediocre, but way be beyond that. In other words, although you are a human being listening to this, and by the virtue of being a human being, you are limited. Just by having body, you are limited. For one, you can't fly, not without an airplane or without leaving your body. But within that limitation, there is still vast room of experiences that are way out of the ordinary, or beyond, way beyond the ordinary. So if you are not experiencing that, then that's because an aspect of you, a, a shadow aspect of you perhaps, is that's what's holding you back. And if you would like to experience more, if you would like to experience the out of the ordinary, if you would like to experience the beyond who you really are right now or who you are currently, then you must let go of your limiting beliefs. And that takes work. That takes diligence. Shadow work is, well, <clears throat> they're showing me a vision equivalent to digging ditches. So let's say we're employed to dig ditches in dirt and there is very little water, the sun is very hot, and it's sweaty, it's hard. You get the picture. Working with the shadow self is not easy. I'm not gonna call it hard, because the, the more we call something hard, the less likely we are to do it, because we will object to something that is deemed to be hard. However, it is a challenge, but we are here to overcome challenges. And therefore, you are here to overcome your shadows, which are essentially your beliefs. Okay. So, is mediocrity or mediocrity holding you back? Ask yourself that question. And if the answer is yes, and chances are 99.9% .9 of you will say yes, simply because you're a human being. You're here to experience life from a, from a angle of limitation so that then you can overcome that limitation. Okay. 
once you overcome that limitation, you begin to see your greatness. Your greatness is what pulls you more towards well, I'm almost reluctant to say the word God because I'm not a religious person. But um, I'm going to say it here because God represent, represents a level of greatness that we don't, for those who believe in God, probably don't feel there's anything greater than God. To me, God is consciousness itself, including you and I. So that's the message for you today, or for us, I should say. If you enjoyed this, I would really encourage you to see the video I just posted on YouTube. Link is in the in the bio there somewhere. It's called What is Holding Back Your Light, or something to that extent. And it goes deeper into what might be holding you, specifically you. And if you recognize what holds you back, then now you have, well, now you can do something about it. You cannot change something you're unaware of. That is, I think, something that most people will agree with. And your life circumstances are largely due to the fact that you believe what you believe. Majority of the time, we're not even sure exactly or are even aware of what we really believe. We think we believe something, but our state of our experiences says that it tells a different story. So whatever story you have in your mind about you, it either holds you back or propels you forward. What is, yours, what is your life's story doing for you? Is it propelling you forward? Or is it keeping you back from experiencing your greatness? That is a great question for today. I'm going to leave that with you. I wish you a wonderful day and uh, see you soon.